Anxiety isn't just worrying too much. It's a psychological and neurological condition where the brain locks into survival mode, constantly scanning for threats, real or imagined. For those who live with it, anxiety feels like being trapped in a storm of racing thoughts, restless energy, and a body that never fully relaxes. It's not weakness, and it's not simply overthinking. It's the nervous system misfiring, turning everyday life into a battlefield. Neurologically, anxiety is driven by the amygdala, the brain's alarm system. When it becomes overactive, even minor stressors are treated as danger. At the same time, the prefrontal cortex, which normally helps regulate fear and calm the system, struggles to take control. Neurotransmitters like serotonin, norepinephrine, and GABA are often disrupted, leading to hyperarousal, tense muscles, shallow breathing, and intrusive thoughts. This explains why anxiety is as physical as it is mental. The body is preparing for a threat that may not even exist. The roots of anxiety often trace back to childhood experiences. Children who grow up in unstable or unpredictable environments learn to stay on high alert, constantly scanning for changes in tone, mood, or expression. This hypervigilance, once protective, becomes ingrained. Traumatic experiences, emotional neglect, or inconsistent caregiving can shape the nervous system to interpret uncertainty as danger. As adults, the same wiring reacts to stress waiting for a text back, speaking in public, or even silence, as if survival were at stake. Anxiety shows up in the body as much as in the mind. The heart races, breathing grows shallow and muscles tense as though preparing to fight or flee. Sleep often becomes restless, leaving people exhausted yet wired. Thoughts loop endlessly, spinning through every what-if scenario, while the nervous system demands constant vigilance. Social situations can feel overwhelming, leading to withdrawal, people-pleasing, or overanalyzing every word and gesture. The result is a cycle where relief is temporary and worry always returns stronger. Anxiety isn't madness, it's adaptation. It's the nervous system's way of saying, I've been through too much, and I'm trying to keep you safe. The challenge is not to fight against it, but to retrain and soothe the system, teaching the brain that it no longer has to live in constant survival mode.